can, in addition to controlling things, we can also get statuses of things. So if something changes, we can set the radio to generate a message that will tell us if something's changed. Okay. Then we can turn on sirens, emergency indications, stuff like that. Bottom line, the limitations here are really the customer need and your creativity when we start getting into this type of solution. We have a, we have a tank. Obviously, we've got a big, monstrous tank of, of red water sitting over there. Um, we've got two radios. We'll consider radio two, the mobile that sits over there. And we'll consider radio one, this portable, for example. Okay. So say we want to turn on the, the pump or a pump or some other device, we want to fill the tank up. We can generate a command from radio one that goes to radio two. This, by the way, this is a digital functionality, not analog. This only works in digital and turbo. Okay. Radio number two gets the command, sends the appropriate voltage or pulse or whatever, however we have it programmed down the line, turns on the light, turns on the pump, and the pump fills up. Okay. Conversely now, what are we going to do? We don't want, to, we don't want it to overflow. So maybe we build a sensor into our application or, or, or our solution that says, hey, when the water gets to this level, generate me a message that comes to my radio so I know. Then I can shut off the pump, okay? And that's what you see here in this animation. Water's getting to a level, it's gonna generate some <coughs> command. If I had a light tied into this, maybe the light lights up or I get some sort of, and you can generate a light or you can generate a message, however you want that delivery, okay? So simply put, we kind of, High level theories, it's just sending, sending a request, the request being performed, and in some cases, sending me some sort of status back. I sent a command from my radio to the mobile, and I said, turn on the light. So it turned on the light, okay? Now, I'll explain why we're doing it the way we're doing it. There's a couple things we could have done, um, but for the sake of demonstration, we'll manually let the water out. So what's gonna happen is, there's a lower sensor. When the water goes low, the sensor's gonna drop, We've got a program so that that drop will generate a, a pulse to the mobile, and it will send us a command, send us a text message here. And you'll hear it, by the way. You hear that? Okay, it says tank is low. Okay, so now I said, oh my God, the tank's low. Something's going to burn up. I better turn on the water. Okay, so I sent another command for P1. I have only two programmable buttons here. P2 turns on the light. P1 turns on the blue light and water pump. Okay. So there's kind of a couple things going on here, right? We've got, we've sent commands to turn things on externally. We've, we've got an, in, an input from some state change across the radio, and now we're turning on the, the water and we're filling up the tank. 